iOS 14 had a bunch of new features that were announced this year. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at my top five favorite features. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, I'm Cameron and welcome to my channel, Cam Talks Tech. WWDC was almost three weeks ago and with that came iOS 14 and a bunch of its new features. So without further ado, let's start with number five. Coming in at number five is definitely Backtap. So Backtap was one of these features that they actually didn't even talk about during the keynote. But basically what it is, is you can actually take um, shortcuts on your phone like App Switcher, Control Center, Home, Lock Screen, and more. And basically what happens is you can tap the back of your phone either twice or three times and it will actually go straight to the shortcut. So in, in this uh, scenario, if I tap the back of my phone twice, it will actually take me straight to my notifications. And I also have set for th the triple tap, it will take me straight to my app switcher. With this being the first version of the beta, Backtap still has a ton of bugs. There are times where I'm even just like sending text messages and it will randomly open my notification center or even just scrolling through Facebook or Twitter. So please be advised, don't download the beta on your daily driver unless you really wanna deal with some bugs. Coming in at number four is App Clips. This allows merchants to basically set up either a QR code or NFC spot and you can touch your phone to it or use your camera to open it and it will open a small little version of an app without having to download the entire thing. So a really good instance is using this with scooters. I know in Kansas City we have like Uber scooters or Ride or um, Lime scooters. And so basically what you can do, you can just tap your phone to the scooter or read the QR code and it will allow you to use Apple Pay right there without having to download the entire app and making an account and all that sort of stuff. I'm really curious to see how more companies are gonna start integrating app clips for their app and what they're gonna use them for. Coming in at number three is picture in picture. We all know that everyone loves it, everyone is gonna use it. You watch Netflix, you're getting ready for work or something, and you're also scrolling through Twitter, Facebook, you don't wanna watch your, your YouTube, you wanna watch your Netflix, it's all right there. It's easily resizable, you can uh, move it around, make it bigger, smaller, and you can easily hide it away if you need to take use of your full screen. It's a super convenient feature and something that's gonna be well received, I think, by everybody. Number two is the app library. So my favorite part of the app library is that um, I'm able to really keep my home screens clean. Um, the best part about the app library is say you wanna delete an app, you don't actually have to fully delete it from your phone. You can just store it in the app library. So it's not taking up space on your home screens, but you can still easily get to it if you do have that random one-off time that you do need to use it. Um, it's super convenient, keeps things clean and organized because of its algorithm. It actually auto organizes it based off of uh, what the app type of app it is and what it's used for. There are a little bit of quirks, like a lot of times if you're using the app library, um, in order to get into the apps, the actual folder for the app, you have to tap the bottom right corner to open the entire folder. The other three spots in the app library are quickly to actually open the app right directly from there. So I hope to see a little bit of tweaks to see how these are open because it can be a little confusing and sometimes it's really easy to tap one of the apps instead of actually opening the entire folder. Number one favorite feature, you guys probably already know what it is, it is widgets. Um, widgets is one of those things that almost every Apple user has been wanting for probably forever. Um, it's one of those things that I think Apple really wanted to take the extra time to make it integrate really well with the current app system. And so I think that's why they held off for the longest time. But I'm really excited about widgets. They're super intuitive. Basically the way widgets work, you, uh, you can hold down on your screen and open your widget library. And in your widget library, you have all of your first party apps by Apple so far. So at launch, you'll have all of the Apple stock widgets. And also um, Apple is allowing third party developers with the developer API to make their own widgets. So I'm really excited for all my favorite apps. I can have a widget right there on my home screen, make it super easy at a glance. I'm excited about that. I'd say my all time favorite widget is definitely the smart stack because it gives you basically all the widgets at once and you can easily scroll through them on your home screen as it's placed in there. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite iOS 14 feature is. These were some of mine and I can't wait to hear yours. If you want to get notified about all my future videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And if you enjoyed this video, 
go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to check out all of the iOS 14 features or rewatch the WWDC 2020 keynote, I'll be leaving links down in the description for all of you to check out. Thank you guys for watching the video and we'll catch you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>